Hello, my name is Angel Unda and this is another video for our ATD YouTube channel in English. Welcome again, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, today we are going to look at the difference between the third generation of uh, Toyota uh, high voltage battery and the fourth generation of Toyota high voltage battery. Uh, this battery, the the third generation is nickel technology uh, and this is ion lithium technology. Both uh, has a, um, a fan for cooling, for cooling down the temperature. It's very important more in the ion lithium batteries to control the temperature of uh, the cells uh, and they uh, use Mm, air uh, cooler uh, system be, be, uh, using the air from the cabin remember that okay apart from the, um, the fan for the, the blower we have uh, many uh, different uh, many, many uh, cells connected in series uh, in this uh, third generation Toyota use 28 modules connected in series. Each module has uh, six cells and one cell of uh, nickel has 1.2 volts. So each module uh, has a voltage of 7.2 volts. At the end, uh, the whole pack of the battery has 201.6 volts the same as the fourth generation but the difference is that uh, here we use uh, ion lithium batteries technologies so here we have 56 cells each cell of ion lithium battery has 3.6 volts the nominal voltage so at the end we have the same voltage of the whole uh, pack of the battery so same voltage but different technology. Uh, one reason is that the ion lithium battery has more energy in the same size. I, I mean the uh, density of energy. So at the beginning this uh, weight is, uh, is very, um, this is more heavy from the ion lithium. This is an advantage for uh, cars obviously and uh, this uh, ion lithium battery is possible to discharge more than the uh, nickel metal hybrid. Uh, this is possible to uh, check in, the, in our uh, scan tool the SOC, the state of charge during uh, the discharging uh, mode of the battery um, and ion lithium battery are a, a better or is, is a good or better uh, technology for batteries, obviously. But at the end it's the same. We need to use uh, many uh, cells connected in series. We need to use uh, blowers for uh, cooling down the battery. Uh, we need to use a temperature sensor for battery. And we have here more than this previous um, uh, generation. We have here three uh, temperature sensor, but here we have six. It's more uh, control because ion lithium batteries is, uh, that technology is more uh, like dangerous, you know? So um, at the end we have uh, same components, uh, temperature sensor. We need to use a voltage sensor. Here we uh, can measure with the scan tool uh, 14 volts each per, blo per block, uh, a block is uh, two modules, a, a pair of modules. So if we have 28 uh, modules, at the end we have uh, 14 uh, blocks, obviously. And we measure that voltage with uh, cables. And the temperature and the voltage goes to the BMF, which is the control unit that supervise the uh, whole pack. Uh, here is the same, we have uh, a voltage, sensor for uh, the voltage, but um, here we measure 
each cell, each uh, voltage of the cells. Uh, it's possible to uh, read uh, 56 values with the scan tool because ion lithium batteries are uh, more um, uh, is uh, in the the manufacturer need to supervise very well what happened with that uh, cell with each cells. So um, we have the the cables from the uh, the, the voltage uh, sensors. Even we have the uh, temperature sensor here. We have a one uh, two. A three and the other three uh, sensor here and those goes temperature uh, sensor and the voltage goes to the BMS we have the BMS in BMS sorry here which is bigger than the previous model because um, supervise more cells it's more complex uh, Apart from the uh, modules or cells and the temperature sensor and voltage sensor, we have a, a integrated power module that contains or which contains the uh, relays or the contactors to connect the voltage to the inverter converter. So here we have the uh, main relays, the positive, the negative, the pre-charge, even the resistance. Uh, to connect with the inverter converter this is that piece even we have uh, also we have a current sensor and in this uh, battery we have the same we have a positive negative and pre-charge pre and the resistance here to connect with the inverter converter when they are applied um, the last uh, component of the high voltage battery is the service plug connector. Here we have in this part the connection of the service plug for uh, safety reasons and here is a very uh, little, it's, it's smaller than the previous because uh, in this fourth generation the uh, plug um, doesn't uh, have the, the, um, the fuse but here in the third generation we have a fuse inside of the connector so that is the the reason why they are different uh, in the four uh, generation the fuse is inside of the um, is in this part near or close by the integrated power module but at the end we need to know that a high voltage battery um, has the same component at the end using uh, different technologies uh, nickel or ion lithium batteries uh, cells or modules but uh, the, the main function or the the basic function is it, the same so we need to uh, understand um, how it works to troubleshoot it and uh, in this video i wanted to show you the difference between the third generation and the fourth generation. Obviously, uh, we provide more information, uh, more details about how to um, read uh, values, how to um, disconnect and connect, how to uh, repair the batteries, uh, ATC, in our face-to-face -face training here in, in Malaga, in Spain. So if you are interested in um, get more uh, details uh, of this high voltage or this uh, hybrid or electric uh, technologies in, in vehicles, uh, you can contact us and we will provide you more information. So thank you for watching. Um, uh, hopefully I uh, do understand my English um, <laughs> good for this explanation. So. Uh, see you in another video. Thank you.